Okay, now we're going to learn about name signs. Okay. This is an awesome book. I highly recommend you read it. Or at least take a look at it. Right? Alright. Um name signs are names are signs that represent a deaf person, okay? Um, but they represent that person, okay? Not all Amy's have the same name sign. Not all Allie's have the same name sign. It's related to that person, okay? Um, deaf people have two names. The first one is English. It's written or spelled. The second one is signed. Now it can either be manually signed, ABCs, or it can be a sign that represents that person. Okay? So deaf people have two names. Name signs signify deaf people and reveal much about their culture, right? Deaf people and their name signs represent their culture, their family, them, right? Especially if um, they're from a deaf family, right? Most of the time, um, the family, the parents will pick names that are pretty similar, right? Now, name signs show, again, who is related to who. So, an example in our book is the Supala family. A lot, all, of their name signs are right here on the chin. Right? So, the Supala. And so all the first names are right here. Um, when siblings were born, and if they had like the same first letter, they could move it or keep it here. Okay. Um, right. So another example, myself, I before I dated a deaf guy, and his name sign was this. Sorry, no, is this. Okay? He gave me a name sign because my first name is with an E. Right? To show that we were together. Right? And especially if we had gotten married, probably our children would have had similar name signs. Just so to show relation. Okay? Now if, if you're in a community and you have two people with the same name, even it's possible to have the same name sign, what happens? Do you like have like the same, and you're like, that guy? No, that guy. Which one? So this happened in our community with this name sign. All right. So. Who do you think kept this name sign? The one who was older? The one who had more um, knowledge, more pull, right? More, um, yeah, revered, right? Top, top deaf person in the community, right? So he got to keep his name sign. And the other guy just went back to spelling, right? Now, he's not going to feel bad. He understands. But um, over time, the community gave him or figured out a different name sign. So it wasn't an awful situation. There wasn't a meeting or anything. It just happened.
Oh, I want a name sign. How do I get one? Oh, deaf people give you a name sign. You do not create it yourself. You do not ask for one, right? When you are involved in the community, then you maybe will be given a name sign, okay? You do not make it up yourself. Um, now, it's not like a huge ceremony to for your name sign. When um, I got my name sign, which I don't even use that much, um, right? Uh, right? I was working, right? I was before secretary, and my boss. Death, you know, comes I have long hair, me, Elisha. It wasn't until later I thought a name sign. Huh. Right. So I use it occasionally when people ask me, but I'm the only one that has my name. So why do I need a name sign? Right. It does make, make things easier. Simple. That's Do all deaf people have a name sign? No, no. Some, especially if you have a name that's easy to spell, it kind of becomes its own sign, right? Like Anne. It's easy. Anne, Larry, right? In my family, we have Lila, right? It's easy to spell, right? Um, so not all deaf people have a name sign. So if you don't have one, don't worry. It's okay. There are two types of name signs. Arbitrary. Arbitrary. Okay. Arbitrary name signs are very uh, more abstract. In fact, let's go down to the, the one on the bottom. Right? Descriptive. Right? Descriptive. What? Um, yeah, I was thinking of something else. Uh, descriptive. What does that sound like, right? Describes the person, right? Their personality, their, um, their, their ways, like how they walk, their body, um, their interests, like hobbies, right? Those kind of things that connect with that person, that describe them, right? That's a descriptive name sign. Arbitrary name signs are more, uh, well, just the letter, right? Just the letter. So, so my name with an E, right? Now this is a descriptive name sign, ish. Uh, honestly, the most descriptive would be to show long hair, long straight hair. Um, but um, you could have it anywhere in your head, on your chest, or in neutral space. Okay, so I have an E, 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 right? All right, we're going to describe some more. So we have arbitrary and descriptive name signs. All right. There is a phenomenon that's going on in probably in the last 10 years or so um, called combined. Combined name sign. Mine is a combined name sign with the arbitrary and the descriptive 
together, all right? That's a combined name sign. It's not a true ASL name sign, according to our book, okay? It's more, it's more Englishy, but it has been coming more popular, okay? Especially with the interest of sign language classes. More and more hearing people are learning ASL. And so more and more are receiving combined name signs, all right? All right, here's a fun name sign, a combined name sign, right? So you know uh, President Nixon, right? Before, oh yeah, Nixon, right? Um, probably at the start of his presidency, he had one name sign, but by the end, with Watergate, then it became this. This is sign for lie, and now Nixon. It's a combined name sign. All right. So let's talk about arbitrary. What were the what was the arbitrary name sign? Right, the initial, your your first initial, usually, usually. All right, it's favored, it's favored, more, right? So it's preferred more, it's more traditional. Um, use the ABC, right? A, B, A. Um, yeah, and it's also considered more grown up, right? You don't want to be childish. Uh, an arbitrary name sign will happen on the body, in space, or in your head. So anywhere, right? Can you see me? I don't even know. All right. Anywhere from head to your body to neutral space. Okay? So an example, um, you can have a C here. You can have a C here. Or you can have dual places, two places, right? Okay, so head, torso, area. All right. One example of an arbitrary name sign is Eliza and Elizabeth. Um, Claire, Claire. All right. Um, later, if you haven't already, you will learn about Claire. Okay. Um, so this is his wife, right? And you can see here they are. Um, she is signing the baby's name. Right. Right. It's her name, Eliza. No, sorry, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Right. In, in the in the picture, doing her name sign, Elizabeth. It's in neutral space with an initial. Okay. All right. Now descriptive name signs. If arbitrary is thought more grown up and mature, <sighs> descriptive name signs are not. They're considered childish. Um, not proper. In fact, um, a deaf person can probably, as a child, um, start with one name sign, and as they grow up, their name sign can change. Right? Um, it does not use the alphabet, right? Descriptive does not use the alphabet. All right? If you're going to use the alphabet, that will be a combined name sign, okay? You do not use alphabet for descriptive name signs. You use a sign that describes that person. Okay? All right. So one example is Gallaudet. Thomas Gallaudet. Um, very, very, very famous. Gallaudet. Why do you think this is his name sign? He has glasses. 
right? His name sign is this. Why? Because he had glasses. Right? So that describes him. Another one is uh, Laurent Claire. Why? Well, see how he's turned this way? He's turned this way. On that cheek is a scar. He did not like to show it. So that, that described him. Another uh, name sign, descriptive, from Abbé de la Paix. Right? Those who are hungry, he gave to, right? And Abbé is like a priest, right? It's French. So he gave to the hunger, hungry, right? He was a priest. So that described him. All right. Now your assignment is what? To create, not to ever use outside of this classroom or this computer. All right, um, you are going to create your own arbitrary and your own descriptive name signs. Make sure they are not a combined name sign. Okay, boom, boom. Label them. Which one is which? You're going to draw it. You're going to draw your name sign, right? Draw how you would sign it, right? Draw the hands, okay? We will not use these outside of the classroom. This is for an assignment to help you learn and remember this information. If you need to watch it again, do! All right.